Hi, I'm Justin from the Yanmar Academy. Today I am here to talk to you about adjusting the PTO relief valve settings on your Yanmar excavator. The PTO relief valve settings on Yanmar excavators can vary depending on the specific model of the excavator and the attachment being installed. It is important to familiarize yourself with the location and adjustment procedure of the PTO relief valves prior to adjusting. You also want to ensure you have the necessary tools and safety equipment before you begin. Now let's get started. First, you must prepare the excavator. Ensure the excavator is on a stable surface. Turn off the engine, remove any covers or panels to gain access to the main control valve. Locate the PTO spool valve section in the main control valve and make sure a relief valve is installed in the spool valve section. The adjustable relief valve is roughly four inches long and has a jam nut with a set screw in the middle. Once the relief valve has been identified, use a four millimeter Allen key to hold the adjustment screw and a 19 millimeter wrench to loosen the locking nut on the relief valve. Holding the adjustment screw will help keep the original valve setting. The machine used here today is a Yanmar VIO 356A, and we are installing a Yanmar SB352 hydraulic hammer. The service manual for this hammer says the PTO or auxiliary relief setting should be set to 2,276 psi. The PTO section for the machine is supplied with oil from the P1 and P3 sections of the main hydraulic pump. Attach a zero to 6,000 psi pressure gauge to the P1 pump. If adjusting a double acting cylinder, make sure the PTO selector valve is set to double acting so both relief valves can be adjusted. Also, when using gauges to adjust reliefs, your diverter valves on the end of the arm must be closed. When using a flow meter, your diverter valves must be open. With an assistant, start the engine and engage the PTO system. Use a pressure gauge to measure the hydraulic pressure at the PTO system to check the current relief valve setting. Using a four millimeter Allen key, slowly turn the adjustment screw clockwise to increase the pressure or counterclockwise to decrease it. Making small adjustments at a time, taking note of the changes in pressure. Be very careful when adjusting. One full turn will adjust the pressure by 1,740 PSI. Adjust the relief valve while monitoring the pressure gauge until it reaches the specified setting in the attachment manual. In this case, 2,276 PSI. Exercise caution not to exceed the maximum pressure limits. When you are done, torque the jam nut to 14 and a half foot pounds. Another way of testing your PTO relief valve settings is by attaching a flow meter to the hose couplers on the end of the arm. Slowly apply restriction using the knob. Once your flow reading reaches zero, read the pressure gauge. It will display your current relief setting and follow the same procedure for adjustment. Once you achieve your desired pressure setting, tighten the jam nut securely to prevent unintentional changes. Double check the pressure settings with a gauge or your flow meter to ensure it remains within the desired range. When adjustments are complete, test the PTO by engaging and disengaging the PTO system. Check for any abnormal noises or any other issues. If everything appears normal, you can proceed. Replace any protective caps or covers you removed earlier. Turn off the engine, remove the tools from the work area, and ensure the excavator is in a safe condition for future use. There you have it. We've successfully adjusted the PTO relief valves and we're ready to go to work. Thank you for watching. For more information, consult the operation manual or contact your local dealer.